So I accidentally took way too long getting ready and now I'm running late to work so I have to eat my breakfast in the car on the way. Why is it out of focus? Why is it out of focus? Come on camera. Okay whatever. So I got these like Trader Joe's maple protein muffins. I love these things. They're super super good when you uh, are in a hurry and on the go because they only take a minute to make. I don't have, okay, it might just have to be crooked because <laughs> I don't have one of those camera holders that the YouTubers have for like their cars or whatever. So um, you're literally just resting on my dashboard. <laughs> uh, this might not be safe. Okay, anyway, I uh, start work at 7.30 and it's currently 7.20 and it takes me eight minutes to get there, so pray for me. I also, in me like rushing out of my house to get to work, I accidentally forgot my apron on the counter, which is a big old bummer because at my job we use these like little handheld like tablet thingies to put in people's orders and like collect their payment and whatever. Since I forgot my apron, gonna have to like put it in my back pocket but like my booty is so voluptuous that like I don't really think it's gonna fit in my back pocket <laughs> yep okay so it's a red light and I have to show you guys the sky and this mountain really quick <laughs> wow I really hate living here <laughs> but that's something I'll never get tired of Renee and I kind of want to move to Boston we're still deciding Originally we said we wanted to move to Portland, but my sister lives in Boston and she's pregnant. We haven't lived in the same city since like high school. <laughs> so um, that would be really cool to live closer to her and experience being an aunt for the first time. The thing is with here, we just like, we don't know who to trust. We're kind of in a headspace where we don't want to have to like be on edge and educate our friends like all day at every given moment you know <laughs> we would love to be in a friend group where people just get it long story short that's why we hate it here because <laughs> that's how it is like everywhere we turn we don't know who who the good people are and uh who the imposters are the amount of times that people say super problematic things here and don't realize that it's problematic and then we have to take like the emotional energy to educate them and then be on edge not knowing how they're gonna take it is crazy and the amount of times that people say the R word here it's just weird Renee and I think it's so weird how uh, normalized problematic ass things are <laughs> so I just got to work here I am um, I made it on time it's 728 still sad about my apron but it's okay we're gonna have a good day because I meditated and um, I have a lot of errands to run so we gotta keep a positive mindset. <laughs> okay, um, I'll see you after work. Bye. Hi! Okay, I'm out of work. Um, <gasps> I literally, <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. I don't know why, like I literally even could still go back in and use the bathroom but um, 
I've been sitting in my car like checking my notifications and stuff for like 20 minutes um, so now I would feel weird if I went back in um, because I should have already been gone but I was bullshitting on my phone and now I literally feel like I'm gonna pee my fucking pants um, my tips were shit today I had a total of four tables oh my god I'm gonna pee my pants there's so much traffic Hang on, I'll tell the story in a second. <laughs> okay. I started at 7.30 and I clocked out around like 11, 11.15ish um, because we were so slow that I literally got cut at like 10.45. And I had a total of four tables and I made like $40. That sucks. But, um... I did get the chance to like get to know my coworkers a lot more than usual, which is cool. They're super cool and they're super nice. And um, they play video games, so I like gave Renee's information to them so that she can play video games with them because I'm not a gamer, but Renee is. So maybe potential friendship? Question mark? I don't know. So here, here's what here's what we have on the agenda today. Also, let me back up. I started to get a migraine while I was at work, and that was really shitty. So I ended up postmating a Gatorade and some Excedrin. Oh my god, what is this cute little bar? <gasps> oh no, bitch. Oh no, I just passed the cutest little bar that's like fully decked out with Christmas decorations and like literally has decorations all over it and lights and is super cute and their patio is open and I fucking drove by and there's a blue lives matter flag on the front of the restaurant this is exactly what I'm saying I was just telling you when I was on my way to work that we don't know who we can trust that extends to businesses too like around the time of the election businesses that we had been like in the neighborhood, same neighborhood as, started putting up Trump 2020 flags. And we're like, what the fuck? Our neighborhood is overrun by Trumpies. I'm not going to that restaurant ever. I take back what I said. It's not cute anymore. Oh, but to go back to what I was saying, I don't have a headache anymore. But because I did have a headache earlier, I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym today. Oh my God, every time, okay, so while I'm driving, I don't have to pee as bad. Like the urge just like, goes away but then the second I stop at a red light <laughs> it literally feels like if I don't get to a bathroom right now I'm gonna piss myself but I have to stop at Walgreens because it's right here oh my god are you allowed to use the bathroom in Walgreens is this a bad decision <laughs> I can't focus I can't focus I have to be so fucking bad. I'm gonna literally piss my pants. I'm a grown ass woman who's gonna piss my pants. I should have just gone to the fucking bathroom at work. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here with me because I truly think I'd be crying. That's how bad I have to pee. Whew. Maybe when I stand up, it'll get better because right now I'm sitting down in jeans with a seatbelt on. And that's a lot of pressure on my lower abdomen where my fucking bladder is. This is the longest light of my life. This is the longest light of my life. <laughs> Blue screen. Oh my gosh. Please have a bathroom open to the public. I understand it's COVID times though, so I guess I would understand if they didn't. I'm not gonna take you guys with me because that's uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable filming in public, so. I'm gonna um, go in there, go pee, hopefully, and get my birth control, and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> um, so, some good news and some bad news. The good news is, they had a bathroom in there. So I went pee, and I feel much better. The bad news is, my birth control is not covered by my insurance, and I was unaware of that, until I went to pick it up. And then when the pharmacist scanned the barcode for my prescription, she says, 
That will be $381. Yo. <laughs> what the fuck? Gotta get that figured out, but whatever. Next on our little list of things to do is going to the bank. Um, I'm not gonna take you inside here either because it's a bank and that's fucking weird. <laughs> it's quiet, ain't no back talk. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello, I am home now. Um, I decided to stop and get something to eat out because there's no food in the house and I'm lazy, I don't know. Let's show you what I got. So I got this uh, bomb ass looking poke bowl. There's underneath all of these toppings. We got some uh, salmon and tuna going on there and then I got um, miso soup. I also uh, just wanna take a little bit of a breather and um, watch some YouTube before I have to do all my errands. I have to go to the mall and get a present for Renee um, and then wrap that present. I have to go to FedEx and ship out all of my Christmas presents. These. And yes, it is December 22nd and I am incredibly behind on this. I know. You don't have to tell me. We're just gonna chill out, eat some lunch, watch some YouTube, and then go run our little errands. Um, so let's do that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. So I just finished lunch and uh, I'm a little sleepy now and my head kind of hurts a little bit again. So I'm gonna take a little nap and relax for a little bit. It's 1.40. I'm probably gonna rest until about three and then uh, we'll go to UPS and the mall together after that. I'll see you in a little bit after I wake up from my nap. Okay. Hi. It's. 3.30, um, I didn't actually get to take a nap because um, while I was laying down and watching YouTube videos, I got a few phone calls that ended up taking the whole hour that I was planning on having a nap. And while I was laying down, my headache just got worse and worse. And now it's a full-blown migraine. Um, I ended up having to take my pretty intense migraine stuff it's like this nasal spray and then I took a pill. Um, it hasn't quite kicked in yet, but it's 3.30 and I have to get these errands done today um, because I procrastinated them all week. And yeah, sorry if my energy is a little off now. Um, I feel kind of off. So let's go get these errands done so we can come back and rest some more. Hopefully my medicine kicks in soon. Okay, let's go get this present and go to UPS or FedEx or something. Okay, I have good news. I made it to FedEx. All of the presents that I procrastinated on are going to get to my family by Christmas Eve. <laughs> Procrastinators always win, I'm just saying. My migraine went away. I don't know if you can tell from the dramatic change in energy from the last clip to this clip. And I'm just happy to be alive. Now, oh my gosh, and another thing that I didn't even realize, FedEx is actually across the street from the mall. So this trip is actually not gonna take that long. I'm literally just gonna pop in the mall, go get Renee her present, and uh, We'll be done. We'll be done with all of my Christmas shopping. And that is such a blessing because Christmas always stresses me out. I am such a, I'm such a people pleaser. So I always feel this like 
really intense amount of pressure when it comes to Christmas because I always want to like give people something that they're gonna want and enjoy and use um, so I put a lot of pressure on myself and I end up spending like way too much money because the last thing I want to do is like disappoint the people I love or make them feel like I don't pay attention to their desires um, I'll see you in a second um, when I'm done and I'll show you what I got for Renee and then we'll go home and we'll wrap it together okay I'm back my cheeks are red I've had my fucking mask on for like 17 hours I may have done it again the whole going a little overboard thing because I'm in love you know I uh, I was searching for a gold bracelet and I wanted it to be like really thin and sparkly um, and simple like not too flashy flashy but still really nice you know and no one had like a really thin simple gold chain everything was like really chunky and like gaudy or whatever and I, I it's just not Renee's vibe it's not my vibe so I go into Neiman Marcus and I ask the first sales associate I see and she's like yep right over here we go over there and it's fucking perfect it's perfect so I'm super happy the only thing is I can't show it to you I really wanted to show it to you obviously because this vlog has been just me talking and not a lot of showing which is unfortunate but so I was gonna show it to you and I was gonna like wrap it at home I already said that before I went to the mall I said I was gonna wrap it with you guys um, but she wrapped it for me and she put this cute little bows on here and she made it look so nice so now I don't wanna, I don't wanna like ruin it. Oh, Can you hear me? Yo, baby, you messed up my jam. Your jam? You called me, I'm calling you back. I'm supposed to be your jam. You are my jam, but you called me at the most like prime part of the song of Bad Bunny. <laughs> oh, so do you want to hang up? No, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I, I was shaking my booty in my seat right now. Twerk that thing, babe. Twerk that thing, babe. Okay, did you find it? Yes, I did. It just, it, it? it took a lot of effort. Um, oh. So I finally found it after I almost gave up hope. And now I'm driving to Albertsons to get you some motherfucking platanos. Platanos. Do you want to no. know something funny, baby? What? Right now, when you called me back, I... Or when I called you back, I mean. Um, uh -huh. I'm vlogging in my car. So, oh. I got that whole conversation about Bad Bunny on camera. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, babe. <laughs> okay, let me, let me run in there and I'll run out intersection on a red light so <laughs> I just got home right <laughs> we got the mail uh, when we were on the way to Thanksgiving at my parents house I accidentally went through a red light um, it was yellow. because it was yellow and I thought I was going too fast to stop but oh, I no. wasn't look look the pictures and I literally it was one of those like traffic light things with a camera and I saw it go off and I knew immediately that it caught me and it went off. Look at the picture that they caught me. Wait, it has to focus. Oh, my hand is over my fucking mouth. And then they got your license plate. So fucking funny. Oops. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make dinner. So I'm gonna stop vlogging now because my baby's home from works. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Bye. See? I was, the I was on the camera for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you in the next Happy one. Happy holidays. Bye. For those who celebrate. <laughs>